Good morning, Liberty North. We hope you guys had a great weekend. We've got a couple of announcements for you guys today, as well as a look at this year's talent show. I'll have a look at a developing investigation in the professional football world regarding the illegal use of prescription drugs during games. Your weather report will be revealed later on in the show, but let's go ahead and get this started. Your net news starts now. now. Let's go ahead and start off with your announcements. Juniors and seniors, please don't forget to sign up for the ASVAB test if you are interested in joining the military. The test will take place on December 4th at 8 a.m. here at LNHS. Please stop by the Counseling Center to sign up with Mrs. Stark by November 25th. Students, there will be a presentation about the U.S. Naval Academy on November 25th at the National World, One Museum, World War I Museum at Liberty Memorial in downtown Kansas City. All students and their families are invited to attend. Please see your email for more information. Students, don't forget that Liberty North will host its fourth annual blood drive on Friday, December 3rd. Please sign up during lunch or Eagle Hour to donate. The fifth annual Liberty North Talent Show is also coming up. Let's check it out. So you ready to go? The stage is yours. All participation forms are due to Mrs. Barrett by December 2nd. That's all the announcements we have for you guys today. Stephen, what do you have for us on the Chiefs' victory yesterday? Well, the Chiefs won a slugfest over the defending Super Bowl champions, the Seattle Seahawks, this Sunday. But what is making headlines this morning is what went on off the field at Arrowhead. As the teams played on the field, federal drug agents conducted a surprise inspection in the Seattle Seahawks locker room, according to the team and a Seattle TV station. The DEA visited with Seattle's medical staff and looked in their medical bags, looking for evidence proving that the possible misuse of prescription painkillers. Besides Seattle, federal drug agents in New York met with the medical staff of the San Francisco 49ers after their game against the Giants. They also reportedly met with trainers for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers before they flew home after their game against the Washington Redskins. The reason the DEA targeted road teams is because doctors cannot hand out prescription painkillers outside of the facilities where they are registered, meaning that they cannot give players painkillers away from their home stadium. These raids were initiated after a lawsuit was filed earlier this year by former NFL players who claimed trainers and physicians routinely and illegally gave them prescription painkillers like Vicodin, Percocet, and Oxycontin to help mask their injuries so they could continue playing. An NFL spokesman said all the teams involved cooperated and said the DEAs found no irregularities and made no arrests. The investigation has not been wrapped up as of yet, so we should be following up with more information in subsequent broadcasts. That's all the sports I have for today. Alina, what will the weather for the start of this already freezing week look like? Um, today the sun is shining. We have a high near 21 degrees, and unfortunately the wind will be blowing like crazy all afternoon. Tonight we have a low around 10 degrees, cloudy skies, and the wind calms down a little as the day goes on. Ladies, it's time to pull out all the fluffy sweaters and fuzzy socks because Tuesday seems to be windy with a high near 31 degrees with a low around 25. Wednesday isn't any better with cloudy skies and a high around 37 degrees and a low around 20. Stay warm, Liberty North. Guys, let's wrap up the show. Thanks, Alina. That's all we have for your show today. Have a great day and a great late start Tuesday tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in to KNET. We'll see you guys back here on Wednesday. But until then, we'll catch, catch you on, on the North, north Side. side. Down with soggy clothes and breeze blows. Citrusine, your fevers greet me again. Never kisses, or do you ever send our postcards?